Why does his fastball at mid-90, Sean, just blow people away? I was talking to Chicago, you know, off air last night because he was on the pre and post with us about certain fastballs that, you know, now you can quantify why they're so elite. Uh, because they have the spin rate, you see extension, arm angle, horizontal, vertical movement, all the all the all the words that they use now for analytics. Where before it was just like this guy's got, you know, this this guy's 95 looks like 100, and that's what Chicago was saying is there's certain guys that throw 95 that just don't seem 95. Like they they're very hittable. You see them out of the hand. You see the ball out of the hand early. Uh, the ball doesn't jump on you. It just doesn't look quite as hard as 95. And then there's 95 that looks like 100. And he said, Kyle Harrison has the fastball that looks like 100. And you look up there and it's only 95 because it, he creates all those things. He creates angle. Um, he hides the ball well so the hitter doesn't pick it up early. And then he cre- he has really good extension. He gets out over that front leg and he creates approach angle to the hitter. So where it stays on plane longer. So a hitter thinks, okay, that ball out of the hand is low, so I'm going to give up on it. Well, all of a sudden, it stays on plane, it has spin, and it carries right through the zone. It hits the bottom part of the zone, and it becomes a strike. So a lot of hitters give up on that ball out of his hand. Now you took it, you take the fastball that he can throw at the top part of the zone, and that's where he's going to make his money, is, is that top rail of the strike zone. It looks very hittable. It looks big to a hitter out of the hand because – it's belt high. And by the time it gets to the plate, it's still belt high, but it almost has the appearance that it takes off when it gets to the plate. It actually gains velocity. It doesn't physically, it's not able to do that, but it has that perception to a hitter. I mean, those things that aren't going away. I mean, the, the, his, his mechanics and his ability to get extension and his ability to spin the ball. And obviously you have to have great arm speed to be able to produce all those things, but that's where it makes his fastball elite. Now he can actually throw the ball down the middle of the plate and get swing and miss. So, I mean, just think about that as from a confidence standpoint, and, and you gain that as you go, but he's doing it to big league hitters now, not just big league hitters, but good fastball hitting right-handed big league hitters. He's throwing the ball down the middle of the plate and he's getting swing and miss. When he finally locks in his command and he's able to throw his fastball at four different quadrants of the strike zone, I mean, that, that's when he takes off in his Cy Young status.